tropical manner. The flowers on the buildings be donate a cheerful, happy place to be. When tourists come to Florida, they come to Florida. They don't go to South Dakota. They have to have the ambiance, the flowers. And I lived for back and forth for 10 years in the Keys. And everything in the Keys is flowers. They have, they have real flowers. They have flowers painted. The colors, the colors are beautiful. People come for colors. We get a lot of people driving by uh, and stop at Tropical Manor because they say it, it looks appealing to them. And it is, and it is. We get the people from the ocean front. I think when people come on vacation, they're happy. Their, their, their responsibilities are left at home, and they enjoy it. They really enjoy it. This is why I have fourth generation people coming and staying with me. My daughter's works here uh, one day a week. She went to a Cornell uh, Hotel School because of her involvement here at the motel. My daughter's uh, knew they had to work for a living, they, money was important, and I helped them pursue their education. We started with 13, 12 units that we rented, lived in a little one-room efficiency in back of the office, as many people did at the time. And, uh, my husband was an airline pilot with Flying Tigers. He would go ahead and he would go out and do his flights, fly to different countries because he would do the international flights because he'd get all his flying time in and be home. We knew nothing about the motel business. I'm a psychiatric nurse. Uh, so here we had this little motel. I learned how to fix stoves. I learned how to repair air conditioners. So basically, I just took care of the motel. And then the opportunity came to buy the property to the north of us, which had five cottages. So we bought those. Thought it was a good idea because we needed, we only had a small piece of property we had to expand. So it was about six years ago I bought the property next door. I'm a strong person, so we'll survive, and I, I plan to be here. And I plan to be a little more active, maybe in Daytona Beach Shores, and help it uh, thrive. I always thought it was a sleeping giant, but nobody ever woke it up. We decided that we should just be a city unto ourselves uh, because we could have self-rule and we wouldn't have to go by the guidelines of Daytona Beach, which was bigger and took in more areas. We only have the, the area of uh, South Atlantic Avenue. We didn't have other areas to take care of. We were with the 2,000 cottages. Uh, originally, we like to be active with civic organizations, the, cham the chamber, the big chamber, so to speak. Um, my husband, Judd, was even the president of the Chamber of Commerce. But we were very instrumental and in, in active in getting the people out, getting them to banquets, and getting the community together by actually going ourselves. Not telephone calls, not paperwork and mail, but you had to go visit the people. It was, it was fun. It was fun. Lots of times, including less than March, Maine, and other people. In the afternoon, people would stop. You didn't have that many reservations. There were no charge cards as such. And people would just drive by, and you'd basically just sit outside the office and sit and chat. And the car would kind of come, drive by and kind of pull in to take a look. And you'd go out and say hello and try to sell them a unit, and you showed them around you showed them the selection of units you had because it was nice for them to see and also to see what they're getting. Well, he was an important figure here in Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach Shore is way back when. He was our neighbor across the street at the Mayfair and he was always very nice. Uh, we never really shared business or, or customers he was kind of a different, uh, he got them traveling through to Miami, and we got them staying here in Daytona Beach because we were on this side. But he was very instrum instrumental in the guidance of the city, Daytona Beach Shores. He was um, very active, liked by everybody, and uh, sorely missed when he passed away. It was my property, this is where I got my strength. And. Uh, the people have always been good to me, and I've been good to them, and it's, uh, it's just worked out well for me. I'm not a rich woman, but I have had a good, interesting life, and still have. 
I want to play. <laughs> I just have to find someone to play with. 